hummingbird, what do you think? Do you think of a cute little bird? Well, to me, the hummingbird has a much deeper meaning. The hummingbird is the symbol of a rare brain disease called progressive supranuclear palsy, also known as PSP. This disease has taken a toll on my life, and I am here to educate you all about this little known disease. PSP is a degener degenerative brain disease. That means the tissue in certain areas of the brain are going away and will never come back. There is no cure, and people still don't know what causes it. A PSP patient will live seven to eight years from when symptoms start. There are about 25,000 people in America that have PSP, and approximately six in every 100,000 people worldwide. This is about 450,000 people at any given time. This number may sound like a lot, but just think about how many people have multiple sclerosis. Just to compare, there are approximately 2.5 million people in the world that have MS. At the beginning of PSP, symptoms are very subtle, and it's hard to tell anything is wrong. PSP is commonly diagnosed as Parkinson's disease due to similar symptoms at the beginning. Doctors can figure out that it is not Parkinson's because when they give patients treatment for Parkinson's, it does not work. So they must go deeper into research to figure out that it is PSP. Some of the similar symptoms of PSP and Parkinson's are speech changes, writing changes, and rigid muscles. I have mentioned that PSP has taken a toll on my life, and here's why. My great grandma, who I called Grams, unfortunately passed in April of 2017 due to this disease. I can't explain how sad it was to watch her suffer with PSP. Ever since I could remember, my Grams has been changing. And now that I think about it, it all makes sense. The symptoms that she was having were from PSP, but we didn't know it yet. There was something a bit different with my Grams in her experience with PSP. After my Grams passed away, my mom's mother donated Grams's brain to the Mayo Clinic, a nonprofit organization that does research and education to every human who needs healing. A lot of times, when you send in a brain to get looked at, there is PSP and other diseases. But with Grams, she only had PSP. Every PSP patient will have slightly different symptoms. But out of this list, here are what they may have. Falling backwards, at the beginning, shuffling feet, unable to look down or up, choking, stiff muscles, depression and anxiety, speech changes, sleeping problems, forgetting things, inability to communicate, at the end, lose use of legs, sensitivity to light, and may even lose interest in fun activities. PSP symptoms get worse as time goes on. Medicine that may have helped symptom at the beginning may do nothing at the end to help that exact same symptom. A very hard thing that happens is their communication. A PSP patient will have a very hard time communicating. The doctor once said that any PSP patient would feel trapped inside their body, wanting to talk and write, but they just can't get it out. It's very sad. By now you may be wondering, why is the hummingbird the symbol of PSP? The hummingbird is the symbol of PSP because of the areas of brain cells that die. If you scan any PSP brain, there's an empty space, and it's in the shape of a hummingbird. So now every time I see a hummingbird, I think of Grams and how much I miss her. So what will you do? Will you donate to a research center? Will you do some of your own research and educate your friends? 
maybe you could just be more grateful for your health. And if you are diagnosed with Parkinson's, be aware that it might not be it. It could be PSP. So you should ask for more information if someday you do get diagnosed with Parkinson's. I want everyone to help. And with this, big things will happen. And someday, maybe we can find a cure. And that would help hundreds of thousands of people.